What's up everyone, it's Caddy with MoneyVest. So tomorrow is the Thanksgiving day and I really wanna wish each and every one of you a very, very happy Thanksgiving um, for for you and your family. I'm super thankful for our community, for, for each and every one of you, for what you have contributed to our mission and what we are trying to do over the last three years almost. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, spend quality time with your family. I'm gonna try to not post as many videos so you're not glued to the screen and you can actually enjoy some good family time. Um, but again, uh, happy Thanksgiving. And I, again, really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for being a part of our community. I really appreciate it. So markets here, uh, somewhat higher, a little bit. NASDAQ was up, S&P, Dow Jones all pushing higher. Tomorrow, remember, the markets are closed. So there's no trading tomorrow on Thursday, uh, November 23rd. And then on uh, Friday, uh, we have markets closing early. So 1 p.m. Eastern is when the markets are going to close. So three hours prior to the actual close. And uh, it is going to be a longer weekend so again hope you all enjoy and hope you all have some amazing plans for thanksgiving other than watching my videos so uh this right here is going to be what the markets look like so dow jones pushing up 168 points we got the s p up over 0.41 percent and the nasdaq here up over half a percent as well uh we did have a little bit over 3400 stocks advancing on the day with about 2300 stocks declining and tesla and nvidia certainly struggling a little bit tesla was down almost three percent today and nvidia also dropping over two and a half percent everything else was very nicely pushing up amazon rebounded a little bit from the last couple of days um, as we learned that jeff bezos has been selling a little bit of uh, amazon shares and google and meta continues to push higher vug and smh have been doing really well for us uh you know vug i started that experiment a little over a year ago um and it's been doing incredibly well in smh you know i'm up a little bit over 12 to 15 percent as it has rallied quite a bit uh, back to, to new all-time highs. So if you want to get access to all those alerts and find out exactly what I'm buying and selling, get those trade ideas and get those members-only private videos, Excel spreadsheets, everything is going to be available. So you know there's a 16% annual discount that does expire very soon. Uh, you get access to everything, including Discord access, members-only videos, and Excel spreadsheets, uh, all the discussion channels and trade alerts and trade ideas as well. And I also want to remind everyone that the courses will be going on sale for the next few days as well. Thanksgiving is the coupon code for tomorrow and for Friday. Uh, and you get access to four different courses, individual courses, if you want to get those. So that, that's going to be uh, for fundamental analysis, technical analysis, options trading, and psychology as well. You have no idea. I've been getting a lot of messages when they were not on sale asking for when there's going to be huge discounts. And this is it. This is literally the holiday season and we don't do any more in the year. So that's it. If you want to get access, you get lifetime access and your family can also enroll for free. So um, and then, of course, you get, you know, 20, 30 hours of content, spreadsheets, PDF cheat sheets. Uh, hundreds of lectures uh, that, that are available with the link down below. And finally, Black Friday sale for TradingView is also happening right now. There's going to be a link down below if you want to join. Simply click on it. It'll take you to the page and you can sign up with a 70% off. This is the highest I've ever seen from uh, from TradingView. So again, link's going to be down below and the course is also up, six, up to 60% off that you can take advantage of with the link down below as well. So going back over to the market, we did have, again, a lot of stocks performing really well uh, on the day. A lot of sectors include, um, except for basic materials and energy. Energy has been a little bit under pressure because of how much we have seen prices roll over. So if you come over to uh, the energy here, US oil, you'll notice that we have been a little bit more volatile uh, trading inside this lower high sort of pattern and support level getting validated at 70 72 dollars a barrel we did get a bounce back higher but we're now starting to rotate back lower and as a result energy has been underperforming over the last one day and one week as well and in the last one month energy has been obviously struggling and how much it's been sold off because of how much oil prices are lower this right here is going to be the past one day. So oats, we got lumber prices, orange juice, everything pushing higher with um, soybean, sugar. We got crude oil, soybean oil, heating oil, everything pulling back. And this right here is going to be Bitcoin and Ether. Bitcoin doing, again, pushing up to over 37000 and Ether up to $2,000 as well. So going over to the markets, this right here is what the state of the NASDAQ and the S&P, uh, you know, the S&P has got a huge resistance up to 4,600. So that really is the next level to pay attention to. We've got maybe like one, one and a half percent 
upside from these current levels to get up to that resistance. And not to mention, of course, we've talked about the RSI, we've talked about the MACD, we've talked about the overextended um, market that we're in, as well as how low the volatility is getting down to. I mean, this is four consecutive weeks of the VIX selling off. We are at a very, very critical area for the VIX as we are entering this red zone. And I not to mention that seasonality wise, this is usually one of the best times for the market. So it's no surprise how strong the momentum has been. So next resistance, like I said, 4,600 is going to be that level to watch, but we also got to be cautiously optimistic here, right? So I am optimistic. I'm very excited for this rally. And I, I know it doesn't show on my face. I totally get it. And that's only because I get more excited when there are deals, when there are opportunities, when we can actually start buying something. Because in, in times like these, there's not really much to do. Like you just got to sit on your hands and watch your portfolio go up. Like this is so boring. Uh, yeah, it's exciting too, but you're not really doing um, anything, right? So yeah, it may not, may not show on my face, but I am excited. Trust me, I am happy with what we are seeing in this rally. Uh, but I just get way more excited when there are deals uh, in the market, when there's opportunities to actually buy and invest um, and, and basically uh, look for look for deals, right? When your favorite stocks are coming down to your fair values or even lower, that's, that's the best part about investing long term. Um, so that being said, just keep in mind where we are in the technicality of things. Friday, it's going to be a shorter day. The volume is going to be low. The volume even today was low, I believe. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of activity during those holiday seasons. And you see NASDAQ here, a little bit of that rejection at 14,400. So we didn't quite get up to that level. But of course, getting a little bit of that resistance kind of getting hit um, at those levels. And of course, RSI MACD also overbought at the moment. Uh, and year to date, the NASDAQ is up over 30 five percent just absolutely a phenomenal gain so far into the year and we've only got like six weeks left until the markets close uh for the year with am assuming to be a very very profitable year for many investors including the markets as well so um so that's that and then going over to apple here apple showing some signs of some weakness a little bit of that inverted hammer candle which does not look super great. I mean, this is usually, you know, we got, got up to as much as 192, 193, then we sold right back down to 191. So this usually does happen towards the end of a trend and kind of marks a reversal. So next week's gonna be very important. Next week's gonna be quite interesting actually for us to see whether we start to see a bit of a pullback or not, but this is about as overextended Apple can get. But then overbought RSI, we got the MAC also pushing up and we've got the price itself just been on a consistent move uh, to the upside, next resistance is going to be a 196, 197 for Apple with the support level staying put at 189, close to $190 for the company. Uh, talking about Amazon, Amazon also pushing higher very nicely to a new 52 week high. So that's actually very impressive. 147.74 starting to break out above this level of resistance almost, and support level is going to stay put down to 135, 136. For, uh, for Amazon as well. Uh, talking a little bit about Tesla, Tesla pulling back slightly, uh, so down almost 3% here on the day. And uh, not a surprise, right? We, we talked about this getting rejected at $240, $245. So this right here is the level that we are getting rejected at. We are still very much at the context of this downtrend, so making lower highs and lower lows uh, at the moment. So still within the context of a downtrend, getting rejected at 240, support level is gonna stay put inside this green rectangle, sitting roughly low 200s for Tesla. Uh, talking about Nvidia now, Nvidia is starting to pull back. So down almost two and a half percent. So hit a new all time high at $505 and now starting to roll right back down. And next support really is gonna be sitting all the way down here uh, in the low 400s as we have already talked about. Again, overbought and we are now starting to see some signs of a potential pullback considering that the RSI MACD was overbought and it's starting to level off a little bit. And we are still very much in the context of this horizontal pattern of consolidation with our horizontal high and horizontal low. So we're just really consolidating sideways in that range for Nvidia at the moment. Uh, talking about advanced micro devices and AMD also with a very nice massive breakout on the day of over 2.8% to $124. Uh, and of course, this is a stock that I believe has a lot of potential going into 2024, especially when they start launching a lot of these artificial intelligence products. Um, market cap just so shy of $200 billion. Um, and of course, we've got a very, very significant price action moving to the upside from $93 up a little bit over 32% in 
year to date AMD is up over 85% already. So congratulations for any to anyone who's been trading, investing at advanced micro devices. Uh, but of course, a very nice breakout. And the next target and resistance is going to sit roughly over $130, $131 per share for advanced micro devices. Support level is going to stay put right over here now at close to 121, 122. Talking about PayPal and PayPal here on the day, pushing up a little bit, up over 1.7%. So not bad. This right here is going to be that resistance level to watch now. So this is uh, exactly where we have, um, you know, gotten rejected in the past. And of course, $65 is going to be that next level to watch in case we get a breakout above this. Uh, and support level is going to stay put at 50 $51. I think PayPal is going to really take some time. I think it's really a show me story right now because... Yes, Alex Chris can talk all he wants, and he did say all the right things during the earnings call, and that's something that I think that's that's incredible. But at the end of the day, I think it's really going to be a show me story where PayPal needs to show that it's still a growth company, that it's still going to be efficient, drive that operating leverage, uh, and can continue to grow their active accounts. So that's really what it's going to what it's going to come down to eventually, and that's when investors are going to feel a lot more confident. Uh, rather than just kind of believing whatever Alex Chris says, which no doubt he said all the right things, which is good, but they need to show it. Um, Visa, on the other hand, hitting a new 52-week high, hitting a new all-time high. Uh, very, very impressive move to the upside at $253. It's been on a massive rally from this $228 level. It's up over 10, 11%. A very, very nice move to the upside. It didn't quite break down from this neckline where it was making a little bit of a head and shoulders, but a very nice breakout of the upside 250 is now going to be a very strong support to watch for for visa next one on the list is going to be meta platforms and meta here also pushing up very nicely 1.3 percent so huge move to the upside to 341 support level is going to stay put right here inside this green rectangle for for meta and uh, again we've got a resistance all the way up to as much as 350 dollars per share that's going to be somewhat in line with the all-time high no, no, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. This right here is going to be that next resistance at 352 for Meta. The all-time high sets are well over 375, closer to $384 for, for Meta. But water recovery, I mean, you go back to the same time last year, and Meta was down in the trenches, like literally uh, in October, November time. Last Thanksgiving, Meta was at $100, right? So it's absolutely crazy how quickly things change, how quickly markets can literally go from being you know really really low to really high and that's how the pendulum keeps on swinging from one end to the other going over to netflix and netflix here also has been on a phenomenal rally however this concerns me a little bit look at the type of candle right so a little bit of an inverted hammer uh getting rejected at those highs a very very overbought and overextended so netflix could actually be a good short going into next week uh, considering that the risk reward is probably one of the best out there. Like this could be a very good trade idea going into next week, considering how overbought and overextended we are. Um, and, uh, and of course, not to mention that we've got a price action that's already at $485 per share. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to be downloading the data for Netflix and we're going to do the analysis, the RSI and the overbought analysis for Netflix to better understand the statistical probability of how long can it stay overbought and when it does drop, how much can we expect it to pull back? And that's gonna be available for all the members as well on our Discord. And uh, it, there, there's just so much data out there, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just export this data and I'm going to drive those conclusions and share those results with all the members in the Discord along with the trade idea. So I'm gonna basically go over Folks, RSI over 78, 79 over the last 30 years. Netflix's RSI at over 78 has been probably less than two to three percent of the times. That means it's a very, very rare occurrence of how overbought this is. Those types of analysis will be shared in the in the in the trade idea because I think that's going to be very useful information. So again, link's going to be down below if you want to join our Discord Patreon, 16% annual discount that's available till the end of this month. So you do have time, but we do have about seven days left here. Google also pushing up over 1% very nicely, $1.40 um, $1 actually was the gain at $140. And this right here is literally the resistance that it's now coming up to. That's the level that we have talked about in our previous videos. Very, very nice move to the upside. Um, and I think now it's going to start to get a little bit of that rejection moving forward. 
Uh, Microsoft hitting a new all-time high at just over $2.8 trillion market cap, $380, sub $380 uh, overbought, of course, with the RSI MACD kind of staying and hanging around at those levels for some time. And support level is going to stay put at 366 all the way down to 340 down to $310 per share for, uh, for Microsoft. Moving forward, and last but not least, we got Costco and Enphase. Uh, Costco has also been performing really well, uh, pushing up over 82 basis points. It did pull back a little bit from that, um, from the, you know, the last couple of days here, so validated that support, and then right back, pushing back up. $603 is gonna be that resistance with the support level staying put inside this green rectangle. And finally, we got Enphase uh, with a very nice move to the upside, up over almost 2%, back over $100. Per share, very nice move to the upside. Next resistance and target is going to be a closer to $108 per share. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and a complete update on the markets. Uh, don't forget, we do have pretty big sales going on right now for the holiday season. Uh, this is the only time of the year. This and Christmas are the only times of the year when we do actually do these big sales. So you can access all the different four courses, fundamentals, technical uh, options, and psychology for 50 to 60% off. Uh, coupon code is going to be Thanksgiving, which does expire very soon. Uh, and then finally, you do get Black Friday sale from TradingView, 70% off. Take advantage of that also while it's here. Um, and then finally, join the Discord and the Patreon if you want to. Link's going to be down below with that 16% annual discount. As always, happy investing, and I'll see you all in the next video. Again, once again, very happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Take care.